If you're looking for a drone in 2022, the DJI Mini 3 Pro is gonna be the one. This is the perfect social media drone. That being said, these are some of my favorite things about the DJI Mini 3 Pro. Starting off with the first one, the size and convenience. Of course, I gotta start with the form factor and the weight. 249 grams, super lightweight and easy to set up. Compared to every other drone I've used before, this has been the fastest to get out of the bag and up in the air. Especially paired with a DJI RC controller, I personally don't like having to plug in my phone to the controller every time I want to fly, so that was a huge plus for me when it came to convenience. I absolutely love the RC controller. Would definitely recommend that over the standard one. It's bright in almost every situation and very clear to preview your live footage uh, without any need for your phone. I can't stress this enough. I absolutely love not having to use my phone. The battery life is really, really good. I didn't expect it to last that long. I was getting about 35 minutes of flight time with ease. Even in decently strong winds, I was getting about 32 minutes of flight time. I think that is a pretty big win. The Fly More combo comes with two extra batteries and you can easily shoot for about an hour and a half, maybe a little bit more even uh, with that set. Moving on to the features and some functionalities on the DJI Mini 3 Pro. Starting with true vertical shooting. In 2022, this is the reason I would buy the DJI Mini 3 Pro. I've been getting a lot into Instagram Reels and even TikTok, and for that kind of content, I think there's no other drone that matches this in terms of form factor, how easy it is to use, and just quick social content. But just social aside, you get to shoot in proper settings as well. You get 4K up to 60 FPS, you get 1080p, 120 FPS for buttery smooth slow motion, and also HDR recording. By default, the drone controller is mapped to have digital zoom using the right dial. So for quick shooting with social media content, it's perfect to add some dynamic movement to your standard shots apart from just the standard gimbal movement. Speaking of gimbal movements, something I loved about this was the upward tilt to the gimbal. You can get up to 60 degrees upward tilt allowing for even more creative shots. This unlocks some even harder to achieve shots with ease. So if you want to shoot upwards without having to actually fly upwards, tilt it up and move down, you get really dynamic cool movements. Something that caught me off guard is the low light performance. It was surprisingly good. Given the fact that this isn't a one inch sensor, I expected low light to be kind of subpar, but even shooting at 3200 ISO, the results are actually quite nice. Slap on some color grading and you've got some really good looking footage even for low light. On to the third thing, we've got obstacle sensing and auto shooting modes. With the DJI Mini 3 Pro, you get tri-directional obstacle sensing. So front sensing, back sensing, and downwards. Sideways, you're going in blind. So you've gotta be careful when you're flying the drone sideways in a busy environment. Um, but apart from that, the sensing is pretty good. For the auto shooting modes, you're gonna get the DJI classics. You've got the quick shot, master shot, panorama, wide angle, all of that, and even the active tracking or focus tracking. So obstacle sensing, like I said, works great. I max throttled it towards a tree or towards Darwin and I, towards a building, and it was easily able to detect that and stop and halt the drone. Uh, if not, you even have the APAS 4.0, which is allowing you to bypass different objects when they're blocking you. Really great for those active tracking modes when you can't really have the controller in your hand and bypass them manually. So it automatically does that for you. I actually personally tried out the active track when I went for a run, super reliable. I just threw the controller into my backpack and just went out running and it did super well in that time. I had no issues with it losing me in the track and even if it did, it would hover exactly where it left off. So no issue when it comes to hitting something or anything of that sort, especially if it's following you from behind or in front of you. However, if you're gonna be doing parallel tracking, meaning that you're running along the drone parallel to you, uh, of course, like I said, there's no side obstacle sensing, so you will crash into something along the way. So if you're planning to do parallel active tracking, just make sure you're in an environment where it's not gonna hit a tree or a pole or a person. Okay, with all the stuff I loved about the drone, let's now talk about something I really didn't like about it. That has to be just the one, the interference and the loss of connection from the RC. Let me preface this by saying that this issue is something I only experienced when I was shooting in the city amongst buildings. When I was shooting on the Penang Island, <coughs> RIP, uh, the connection was perfect. No drop or RC disconnection. But when I was shooting in more building areas in the city, 
uh, the interference was was kind of ridiculous like god bless you if you're the type of person who wants to shoot in in building areas even when the drone was not so far away like let's say 200 meters away it started disconnecting already this was honestly quite disappointing to me because I wanted to get really nice low light shots, uh, some cityscapes in the evening, but the connection issue really turned me off from even doing that. Now, other than that, I think this is an incredible drone for what you're getting out of it, especially for social media enthusiasts. Is it slightly on the more expensive side given that it isn't a one inch sensor? Yes. But I'd take that trade for the vertical shooting, super portable and convenient, plethora of automated shooting options, and even decent processing in low light. Those are just a few things I really liked about the drone and that one pesky thing that I didn't like. This has been Omar from Product Nation. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you like it. Consider subscribing for more content just like this. And I'll be seeing you again in the next video.